It's often said that life is all about perspective. Well, here's my perspective. Planet Earth is our life support system. It's a beautiful, rich, intricate island in space, keeping us all alive. But human ingenuity and hard work has given us another life support system, the infrastructure of our civilization. That's the transport systems, the water supplies, the food networks, all of those things that are almost invisible. And yet now we can see and measure the impact that our human systems are having on our planetary life support system. Climate change is the biggest challenge that humanity faces. Here at UCL, we've got an astonishingly broad range of academics, all using their varying perspectives and their expertise to make progress with some of the biggest questions of our time. And the biggest question of all is how do we choose to live on planet Earth? Because we do have a choice and we need everyone's help to make it. So what do the perspectives of UCL academics bring to the table? In 2013, UCL student Arthur Kay came up with an idea to turn coffee grounds into biofuel. The oil-rich leftovers can't make more coffee, but they can be converted into valuable fuel, powering London's buses instead of going into landfill. This is the destination for the used coffee grounds from UCL's own cafes. What if you looked at the space that cars take up and saw the potential for something else? UCL's Urban Dynamics Lab surveyed the Greater London area to find roads that could easily accommodate cycle lanes. They found 2,000 kilometres of roads that could easily become bike-friendly streets, opening the door to an eight-fold increase in protected cycle lanes and a healthier and quieter environment for everyone. We know the world needs insects, but how do they navigate an increasingly urban world? What if our cities were just as welcoming to bees as they are to humans? Over my lifetime, there has been a 30% decrease in bumblebee survival. But UCL researchers have shown that new habitats could help reverse this trend. UCL's own Wild Bloomsbury programme will create an extra 10,000 square metres of biodiverse space, bringing a home for bees and other insects right into the heart of London. What if we saw every rooftop as an opportunity to harvest sunlight. Using laser measurements from aircraft, UCL researchers created a map of London which shows where solar panels could be installed across the capital and how much energy they could generate. We're even using it to decide where we install solar panels across our own campus. What if we took a global view of the impact of climate change on human health and on how populations respond. The Lancet Countdown is a collaboration between UN agencies and universities, including UCL. It's tracking how climate change affects public health, from the effect of heat waves on heart disease to changes in crop yield and nutrition. Their data makes clear the consequences of delayed action and the health benefits of a robust response. What if you could sit inside the vast Arctic machine and float on a tiny steel island as the planetary engine moves around you? What would you see? In 2019 and 2020, a German icebreaker drifted across the frozen Arctic Ocean for an entire year in one of the biggest expeditions ever mounted. UCL researchers were on board collecting data on ice thickness and providing critical information to help us monitor the impact of climate change on the planet's ice caps. So many perspectives, so many opportunities and so much work to be done. We only have one planet and we need to change the way we live on it. But here at UCL we have another perspective that however good we are, however creative and inventive and brilliant, we can't develop the best ideas on our own. We need your perspective as well. We want to develop our ideas and our expertise in collaboration with ordinary citizens, community groups, with charities and businesses and policymakers. If we pool all of those shared perspectives and all of that expertise, then we can choose a future on this planet that we can be proud of.